Yeah. Well, I think what uh, happens in season three that's interesting is uh, Jesus, in many ways, demands it of them. Um, just like in the Gospels, there's this moment that's kind of strange where Jesus sends the disciples out two by two and gives them temporarily the power to heal and to cast out demons and to uh, and, and they preach and, and they, they kind of carry out his ministry for this time. And then they come back and you don't hear about it happening again until, until he dies and resurrects. And so... Um, at first, we show that they're kind of like, uh, are you sure? Wait a minute. We're going to do it without you yeah. and without money and without more than the clothes on our back? That's, this is kind of strange. And I think there's a lesson there of, okay, when, when we're asked to do hard things, we do them. So uh, little James, for, uh, in a more personal level, uh, has a, a literal come to Jesus meeting yeah. where he uh, kind of confronts Jesus about the fact that he hasn't been healed, but these other people have been healed. Um, and, you know, is kind of wrestling with that, comparing himself to others, uh, just as we all do. And uh, it, it's going to be a very transformative season for little James. Season three, um, we get to explore some other colors with Philip where, um, you know, it's going to be a very relatable thing for the audience because he's been training and studying his whole life for this one moment and then Jesus puts him on a mission mm -hmm. in season three and the moment arises and maybe Philip struggles a little bit, maybe yeah. he doesn't succeed, maybe uh, some self-doubt starts creeping in and suddenly you know, you know, you thought you knew who you were and then you fail a little bit and then you start to question yeah. everything about yourself and so um, I think a lot of people are going to relate to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just the difference between season one and the, the, the dynamic that Simon and Eden go through and like what we have for you season three is so, so exciting. But, <laughs> but you know, there's, um, it's not always, I think, I think we use the theme like the honeymoon is over. Yeah. Um, and, you know, with that is going to come some challenges for Eden and for Simon especially. Um, you know, they uh, they come back and they're excited to see each other and then he has to leave again. Mm -hmm. So that definitely, you know, brings on some little bit of um, some loneliness, you know, for mm -hmm. Eden and um, a little bit of just some things that she goes through, you know, yeah. that um, that Simon isn't there for. And, and then when he comes back, he doesn't quite know why she's different and what's going on with them mm -hmm. and their relationship and he can't communicate, he doesn't know how and it's, I think so many um, people are going to be able to relate to that yeah. and tell, it's a you know, story being told in such a unique way. This season, I loved working with Amber. There's a, a longer scene, like a 10 minute scene with, with Mary and Tamar and, um, and it's really it's sort of, uh, there's tension between them growing up until that point. Um, and then they sort of hash it out and mm -hmm. share, she, Tamar shares trauma that Mary didn't know she had. And there's just this new understanding and new support of each other that I think is really sweet and almost like yeah. um, relatable as women, you know, yeah. of like, I think a lot of the times we're not always upfront about how we're feeling mm -hmm. or, or we're too polite, or you know all these things, and um, it, it's a beautiful thing to show two women really supporting each other, um, and and how our tensions can sometimes be opportunities. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a bombshell. That's all I can say. It's going to be a bombshell, and I think when you watch for season three, it's going to be it's like a season of transition. Everyone is finding out what happens after you make that decision to follow Christ because that's the easy part. Yeah, okay, I'm going to be a Christian now. Right. <laughs> that's the easy part, my friend, because once you decide to get on that path, it's the journey and staying and keeping that journey is going to be the greatest challenge. And so with every single <laughs> every yeah. single person, every single apos uh, uh, um, disciple, apostle, um, all the women on the show, you're going to see the challenges that come from after you make that decision, which is what's going to be what we relate to as human beings.